Hi, my name is Hi from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Janna. Janna is relatively strong in solo queue since she has a lot of disengage, and the reason you lose a lot of solo queue games is because someone gets caught out, and she's very good at saving those people, so she's pretty good at solo queue. Probably around a 7 or 8 since she has a strong lane phase as well, so she's a good champion to play in solo queue if you play support. Outside of that, she doesn't have very many bad matchups, she wins a lot of matchups. And she's not necessarily that weak either. Overall, she's just very strong support that has little weaknesses other than the fact that she's not very aggressive. So the thing I see a lot of Janna's do is sitting behind the AD carry and only shielding. And that's not the correct way to play Janna. You should be shielding your AD carry, but at the same time, you should be looking to get good autos in when you can. Basically running up to auto them, and if you need to shield yourself and like follow up with like a W or a Q. It's worthwhile to trade with the enemy more so than your AD carry since you have more sustain because you have three pots and he has one. So make sure you're just not sitting behind your A to carry. Make sure you're helping him do trades as well. Other than that, play safe, get wards up, and just slowly win the lane. So keep in mind with Janna, you really shouldn't be asking your jungler for ganks. You have very bad engage unless you have like a Jin or something, or some kind of CC from your A to carry. So you basically just want to ward up and press the advantage on your own and allow your jungler to go out place. Because it's hard for junglers to kill you since you have tornado and knock up, and it's hard for you to kill them because you don't have that much CC to engage. For Janna, you generally want to stay in the back. She's pretty squishy and she's very strong in the sense that she can spam shields and look for good tornadoes. Basically, your entire job is to peel. Keep every member alive that you can. So look around, see who's dying, see if you can save them by tornadoing, shielding, or ulting them. And do your best to keep everyone alive and make sure you don't die either. Since you're not very good at going in, so just make sure you keep your team from dying. When team fighting, there are opportunities where you can look to go aggressive where you can flash Q knock up someone important, or even flash ulti them into your team, basically pulling an insect. So keep in mind to look out for those as well. Your, your main goal is to keep people alive, but if you see the opportunity to do a big play where you think it would be good, make sure to go for it. A thing that you can do with Janna that a lot of people don't realize is when you're defending a turret, you can hold off on your shield. Basically, imagine a scenario where all the creeps are dying and now they're face tanking it. You can shield it to bait them, Basically thinking that it's about to die, but then you shield it so it's still alive, and that can net you a kill sometimes. So look for that as well. So another neat thing with Janna that a lot of people don't actually know is, normally when champions get punched or knocked into a wall, there's a mini stun, and that works with Janna's ultimate as well. So if you ultimate them into a wall, there's a little mini stun when they hit the wall. So keep that in mind. It's a very minor stun, but it could be the difference between killing someone or not. There's a few sets of runes I run, depending on what I'm versed. First off, for reds, I will run high repent if I'm versus a melee, and if I'm not versus a melee support, then I could run armor, or you can just run a flat magic pen. And then for yellows, you can run flat HP, keep it at that, and then for blues, you can run a few different ones. You can run flat AP, or you can run flat MR, depending on the lane match reverse. And for quints, you can do full armor quints, and or full AP quints, depending on the lane match reverse. So basically, if you're versus like a heavy AD bot lane, you want to run armor, if you're not, then you want to run some AP, and then if they don't have like, uh, if they have magic damage, then you want MR. So you, you use those runes accordingly to what lane you burst. So for masteries, I run 0, 18, 12 on Janna, and there's a few things that you could do differently in the resolve tree. You could get tough skin instead of explorer if you're concerned about taking a lot of harass in lane. But I like explorer because a lot of times you die in the river warding or when you're running through brushes and things like that, and just having the extra movement speed is nice. And then the second one is the next point down, the Runic Armor of Veteran Scars. If you're worried about that, you can run Veteran Scars, but I feel like Runic Armor scales better since it works off your ultimate, your shield, and your health pots and things like that. So there's just a lot of synergy with the things you have. Alternatively, I've seen people run 12, 18 in solo queue on Janna, but I personally think it's bad because the only useful point in Ferocity is the exposed weakness point. The other four points that you're going to get really don't do that much like 2% increase ability damage, like your only damage is like W and Q and it's like nothing anyway. And like getting 18 AP at level 18 is pretty garbage too. So it's just like, you gain a lot more for going 12 with the resolve than you do in Ferocity. So you should go 0, 18, 12. For skill order on Janna, in most scenarios you will start E. The only scenarios where you do not start E is when you're invading. You can either start a Q or W and then invade, and or where you're defending and you see 5 of them coming in, you can start Q to get a 5 man knock up. But other than that, get E. So for item builds on Janna, you have two choices for what you want to do. You can either start Ancient Coin or Frost Fangs. The difference between the two is basically Ancient Coin gives you more sustain in lane, Frost Fang gives you more money. 
You want Frostfang in the scenarios where you need some kind of a catch, like if your team has no engage, Frostfang helps out a little bit. Alternatively, you can go with the coin if you want to rush the early Eye of the Oasis and just have the wards really quickly and start building towards other things. But it's really a preference. I don't really know which one's better. It's just dependent on your playstyle. And then following those money items, you obviously want your site stone as soon as possible. And you want to reach 45% CDR on Janna. You normally want to get a locket, Mikhail's, the CDR boots, and or Swifties, depending on like the team universe and like Mikhail's. So work on the items to get you 45% CDR and go from there. You basically need to itemize according to what you're versed. If you're versed full AD, then maybe skip lock it and go Frozen Heart instead. If there's a lot of AP, then go lock it. If they have a lot of CC, go McHale's, etc. Hello guys, thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out all the rest of the guides over at lawclass.com.